The death toll stands at two, over 100 injured. Uh, we want to go to Jonathan Hall, who reports for our NBC station, WHDH-TV. They've been so busy all day long. We've been watching their live coverage and airing it to a national audience. Jonathan, you're at Brigham and Women's Hospital, where they took on some of the injured, correct? Brian, that's right. Uh, Boston area hospitals have been completely inundated with patients. They drill for this. They say they're up to the challenge, up to the task, and they are ready, treating these uh, very seriously injured people. This tragedy knows no bounds. It did not discriminate on the basis of age or gender here at Brigham and Women's. We understand that the uh, patients being treated have ranged in age from 3 to 62, both men and women. Dozens of people being treated here. We've seen FBI agents, ATF agents going in and out, Massachusetts State Police. The Boston SWAT team is guarding the entrance to this hospital. It is on lockdown. Nobody in, nobody out, unless they have the proper identification. Of course, relatives of those injured are allowed access to the hospital. So once again, a uh, lot of people here coming in, coming out. We've seen people crying. We've heard the stories as they've come out of the hospital, talking about the blast, what they heard, what they saw, the desperate search for loved ones here in Boston. Brian? Jonathan Hall, WHDH-TV, having been on the job all day on this uh, terrible day in the recent history of the great city of Boston. Jonathan, thanks.